activist for 25 years of my life. I come from a very long line of strong women. They always encourage me to use every single resource to help another young woman who's on her journey. I am sure black women will lead this nation to a better place. We're taking control and we're shaping our stories. Tamika Mallory and so many others has used the death of black men across this nation as a griff, a way to move themselves up in society. We have not only seen this with her, Black Lives Matter, and so many other people who see this as a chance to become relevant and rich. What the hell does Cadillac have to do with the death of black men? What the hell does a sponsor have to do with black men? You know what it has to do with? As my son said, we gotta pay our bills. If you gotta pay your bills, go out and get a job working for GM. But don't use the death of black men to now start talking about the upliftment of black women in the upliftment of your bank account. Tamika Mallory, Black Lives Matter, and so many others say that they're fighting for black men. But it seems like they're fighting for themselves. They're fighting for feminism. Are they fighting for the black family? Who are they really working for? See, you remember what Jagger Hoover said, and he was very clear. The next leaders that the black community produce, we will control them. And if you take money from corporate America, they control you. She will not say anything negative about Cadillac because that's going to be in the contract. But if you a free revolutionary like Marcus Garvey, Malcolm X, Elijah Muhammad, Louis Farrakhan, and so many other women that have come before Tamika Mallory, you don't take corporate dollars. You don't go on their corporate shows and give a speech during the Grammys. But now the backlash has come. Now Samaria Rice has been proven right. She said this was a grift. This was about themselves. Because it seems like Tamika Mallory has learned extremely well from her leader Al Sharpton. As soon as something go wrong, you fly in. And you take the blackmail money from the major corporations. And your organization will exist for the next 30 or 40 years. I saw a video on a channel, Super Slide 75, in which Tamika Mallory and my son were using some harsh verbal language, it seems, against some local leaders. And see, you never know what the true intentions of certain people is. Certain people want to be stars. They just don't want to be activists. When the hell do you see activists, real community activists, sponsoring Cadillac? Now when Cadillac gets in trouble, they call a girl. To make a Mallory, and she comes in to tell you how great General Motors and Cadillac is, that they actually support the black community. But it seems like the only thing they're really supporting is her organization, Until Freedom, and her bank account. 
this is extremely sad to see because we have saw, seen this so many times in the past. We saw this with the Black Panthers. We saw this within the Nation of Islam. We saw this in the NAAC SNCC and so many organizations within the 1960s to where there were people trying to do right. But we had infiltrators by the government who were there to sabotage true leadership and progress in black America. Because you happen to see her on TV or Black Lives Matter or some of these other paid for activists that you think they're actually supporting us moving forward. No, they're gatekeepers, they're sellouts, they coons. And their job is to keep us swimming uphill so their masters can stay in power and never be held accountable for their actions. Of course, Tamika Mallory will have an excuse. Those who follow her will have an excuse. Because they got to keep the grift going not only for her, but they got to keep that grift going for everyone else who making those dollars. Oh, this is so sad to see. But in real life, you knew this was coming. And I'm glad some people are being exposed because this needs to happen if we're gonna move forward. You just can't give a good speech and tell everybody to light up AutoZone and so many other business, but then the next day you come out supporting Cadillac and General Motors because they happen the ones that gave you a commercial who happen to put money in your organization until free and they actually put money in your pocket. She knows the game and she's running that game, not only on the black community, but the mothers of those who have died, young men. And she's taking it to another level. We must hold these people accountable because we never do. We let grifters, scammers, liars pontificate their way through our community and they're never, never held accountable. And in these circumstances, you have to be on cold. And if you're not on cold, we'll have to let the whole community know that this person is someone you should not deal with. The scam is up for all these organizations. It's just like she had a donation button on her website. And that donation button was going to act blue, similar to the donations when you was giving them to Black Lives Matter. It was going to a political organization run by George Soros that was giving money to Joe Biden so he could win in 2021, 2020. This is the type of grip that's going on in the community. Money for them, Nothing for Samaria, nothing for Michael Brown, nothing for Eric Garner, nothing for those who have died, but misery and no justice. Is it about justice or is it about them putting money in their pocket? Now it has come to light. And we must stand tall for justice. I want to thank you for listening to Black Side. I hope you subscribe to this channel. 
smash that like button, but also share this video.